everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today for your how-to guide for W-2s. My name is Sharissa and I'll be your tour guide for your QuickBooks desktop account to help you prepare your W-2s. We'll be going over how to prepare your W-2s in QuickBooks desktop. We'll make sure you have all the tools you need to get those documents to your team. First, you're going to go ahead and see my QuickBooks desktop screen here. We are just on the home page. And then you're going to go up to the top navigation and go to where it says employees. And we're going to go down to where it says payroll tax form and W-2s. And we're going to say process payroll forms. This is going to take us directly over to our file forms tab at the very top. And you're going to go where it says annual form W2 slash W3 wage and tax statement. And we're going to select that and then create form. Once we do that, it's going to give us a few things that we can choose from. I can select employees to process W2s for either all employees, and it'll show you the number of employees that it sees in the account. Or you can go in by employee's last name and you can select the first initial. So if you wanted to, for example, go just users A through J, you could do that. And you also want to make sure your filing period is set for 2020 and then press OK. Once you press OK, it's going to go ahead and pop up with select employees for form W2 slash W3. This is where you're going to go ahead and select the employees this is for. You can unmark all of them to go in and individually select. You can also make sure that their social security numbers are up to date. We're going to go ahead and review and edit. And it's going to pop up this payroll tax form where I can go ahead and press next and take a look at all the forms for these users. I can select boxes that I need to for kind of payer. The most common is the 941. And then the kind of employer. Most employers are going to fall under the none apply category. If there are any special situations, go ahead and check yes or no. Go ahead and select no on mine. And then you can just continue to scroll down, double check if you need to enter anything. I'm good here, so I'm gonna go ahead and press next. I'm gonna go ahead and also double check to make sure that everything is correct for this user. If it all looks good, we're gonna move on to the next user. And anything you see in red, like here I have my employee's social security number, it's in red. I mean, it is a test account, so it's not gonna come up with an actual social security number for them but it is gonna indicate that this is not a correct social security number. So what I would need to do is go in, double check that information, edit it and save it. And I can go and press next. So from here, it's gonna give me a list of selected employees, basically a little check off list, which is really nice, where I can make sure I check off employee copies, employer copies and record copies as well. I can also double check the social security numbers here and the wage box one. If all looks good, I'm gonna go ahead and press next. And here it says, congratulations, you've created forms W-2 and forms W-3 for all the employees that you paid this tax year. So all of that looks good. I'm just gonna visually screen everything, make sure everything looks good here. So I'm gonna go ahead and press next. And then we're on to step four already, filing and printing instructions. So here it's gonna let you know, for each employee, there are six different copies for form W-2. I know, doesn't that sound like a lot? <laughs> Copy A to be electronically filed with the Social Security Administration by February 1st of 2021. Copy B is to be given to the employee by February 1st of 2021. Copy C with the instructions and notice to employee to be given to the employee. Copy D is for your records as the employer. Copy one is to be filed with the state and or local tax department if required. And then copy two is to be given to the employee as well. So let's remember that copy B, C, and two all need to go to your employee. Again, that was copy B as in boy, C as in cat and copy two. 
Also remember, you must file one W-2 form for each employee that was paid during the tax year. So for all of 2020, even if they were only paid once, you need to make sure that you get that information over to them. And a little note here at the very bottom, if you inadvertently create a duplicate W-2 form for an employee and then file both copies with the SSA, the agency may use the information from both forms to determine the employee reported income. Not only will the employee's reported taxable income be calculated incorrectly, but also the employer payroll liability payments and balance. So please make sure that you are not accidentally duplicating any information. And now I'm going to go ahead and check for errors. So at the very top, once I click check errors, it's going to go ahead and give me a list of all the errors that it has found. I see there's 13 errors on my form. I can click on an error description below and it'll take me directly to that field. That way I don't have to search for it. I absolutely love that option. I don't have to go in and hunt for which employee it was for. It's literally going to take me directly to it. So let's go ahead and click on the employee social security number that was invalid. We saw this a little earlier because we noticed it was red. We're going to leave that one alone because it is a test account. There's no way I can fix the social security number. No matter what number I put in there, the social security number is not going to be an accurate one since this is a test account. I'm going to go ahead and move through these errors pretty quickly. What you're going to see is anytime I click on one, it's going to directly take me to said error. And then I can go ahead and update that information. And once it's done, it's going to go ahead and clear it from my error list. I love that it keeps track for me so that I don't have to keep track myself. I have a lot of other things on my mind. So let's go ahead and get through these errors quickly. And then once I'm done, I can go ahead and close out of those errors. Once we're done going through all of our errors, we can go ahead and submit this form. When I click submit form, it's going to say your payroll tax form contains errors. I mean, that is just because of that social security number we saw earlier. And I can't file the form with errors. That's totally fine. You should not run into that error if you have gone in and updated all of the errors. I'm just going to go ahead and press skip. And from here, I can go ahead and print copies of my W-2 forms for my employees, the state tax agency, the local tax agency, and for the company records. So if I go ahead and click print, it's going to tell me again about my errors. That's okay. I'm just going to go ahead. So I'm going to say yes to still wanting to print them so I can show you how you can go ahead and print your W-2s. So here um, I can choose the type of paper I'm going to be using, whether it's a blank or perforated paper or pre-printed forms that may require alignment. So if you are going to be using a form that you have received from us that you pre-ordered and it has all the boxes, you will need to make sure that all the alignment is set up properly. From here, we'll select the items that we need to print. So the first one for employees, obviously the W-2 forms, the copies B, 2, and C. So it already kind of groups it together for you, which is nice. And then for the employer, you're going to go ahead and select which one you want to do for that. So copy D for your records you and also select how many boxes you want. So if you are going to be using maybe the pre-printed forms, whichever best fits your layout. And then for the government, you're also going to choose which one for the government one. If you're going to select pre-printed forms, it's going to give you a little bit of a different layout for the employees. So go ahead and take a look at those and select which one's going to best fit your needs for your employees. And then you can say print as PDF. You'll also notice that you do have an align button at the very bottom, as well as a print test or printer setup. These are going to be very beneficial to help you print out everything, especially if you have pre-printed forms or if you have a specific form you want to print it out on rather than just on a blank piece of paper. But I'm going to go ahead and say print PDF and I'm just going to go ahead and bring over the PDF. It landed on my other screen and here it's going to show me everything that I have available to me for that print off and I'm just going to go ahead and press print and that way it's going to print out on the paper that I've already loaded into my printer and I'm good to go. 
And then from there, you can go ahead and close the window for your print W2 and 3 forms. And then on that last page, you'll just say finished to complete your filing. Super quick, super simple, super easy. If you ever need help or assistance, feel free to reach out to us. Let us know what you need assistance with, and we are more than happy to help you. You can also comment down below if you have any questions, and we will definitely assist you. From all of us here at Intuit, we hope you have a happy new year and a great tax season.